Well, that makes for a weird intro. Today we're diving into the mesmerizing world of acrylic pouring. If you've ever been curious about this fun painting method or want to try it for yourself, you're in for a treat. Come on, let's pour into it. Ugh, seriously? Well, anywho. Unless you're in a rut, art will always show you new things. It'll always show you that you haven't seen it all, that you don't know it all. I've been an artist my whole life. I've, I have multiple art degrees. I've taught art at colleges in multiple countries. I've had jobs in multiple industries where I've been labeled artist. And yet, until like a couple months ago, I had never even heard of acrylic pouring. I just happened upon a video on YouTube and it sent me on a rabbit hole. And then you know what happens next and it's more stuff ends up in your recommended. And yeah, so now I'm giving it a shot. And uh, well, we'll see how I do. But I told Waifu about she could narrate most of this. So back to her. Okay, so what is acrylic pouring? Well, let's start with the basics. Acrylic pouring is an abstract painting method where vibrant acrylic paints are mixed with water, glue, and or a pouring agent. And then you pour different color combinations of these paint mixtures onto a surface to create mesmerizing, unpredictable patterns. It's like a soft disco of colors on your canvas. And the best part is there's practically no wrong way to do it. It's all about experimenting and letting your creativity flow like the paint. Think of it as a paint party where the colors get to mingle and dance. To embark on an acrylic pouring adventure, you'll need acrylic paints, a pouring medium to give your paint the right consistency for pouring, cups for mixing, something disposable to stir with, and a canvas or something comparable to pour onto. Oh, and don't forget the most crucial tool, your imagination. I just want to jump in for a sec and say a couple things about pouring mediums. There's not too many ways to get this wrong, but this is one of them. So they do sell uh, pouring medium. You've, you've seen this throughout this video and that stuff works good. That stuff works fine. Um, however, you can make your own and there's a bunch of formulas online. I experimented with just mixing water and Elmer's glue, two parts glue, one part glue, you know, about one and a half parts glue to one part water. Uh, in one part paint, but you can experiment. Some people don't even bother with medium. Some people just do uh, paint and water. I, I think that would be way too runny personally. It just, I don't see it working. Uh, other people, if you look around YouTube, you'll see pe some people have different formulas with uh, stuff you get at the hardware store or using things like uh, coconut oil or WD-40, which is interesting and maybe I'll try that in the future but you do want to experiment and get a certain consistency, roughly akin to what you see in, in this video. So, or, th or maybe even a little thicker, depending on what you want though, experiment on your own. Hey, why did the artist sprint down the road? Her paint was running. Now, if you're interested in pouring, here are some tips from around the internet that Coco found useful First, this is probably the messiest way to make art since abstract expressionism. So have lots and lots of paper towels and other cleaning supplies handy, but especially paper towels. We are literally spilling and splattering things here. Fun little side note about when it comes to cleaning up is as long as you do it on a plastic or a metal surface, it's just, you know, it's pretty easy to clean that surface. You just kind of, it just kind of peels off. Look at that. It just comes right off. Number two, when you're first starting out, 
experimenting is the name of the game. So don't blow a lot of money on high quality paints and other fancy stuff at Michael's or some other arts and crafts stores that sell higher quality art supplies. Instead, check out the craft sections at places like Walmart or your local dollar store for cheaper paints and such. Once you get a solid feel for pouring, then work your way up to the more expensive stuff if you want. Third, and in the same vein as number two, start with a smaller canvas to get the hang of it and work your way up. Trust me, it can get messy and you'll want to conquer some basic techniques before attempting a big old mural. And there are countless techniques to try out from the classic dirty pour to the whimsical flip cup. Right before trying this, Coco watched a video where an artist liked to use the overflow from one canvas to fill another, and he's giving that a shot here. Basically, it's the kind of activity where you just do it and don't be afraid to experiment and find what works for you. Each pour is a unique journey, and sometimes the best results come from randomness. Whether the painting comes out looking like a Jackson Pollock or the surface of an alien world, just embrace the unpredictability. One last tip. When letting your paintings dry overnight, be sure to put them on some kind of risers. Otherwise, your acrylic pouring concoction, which is basically watered down glue mixed with plastic, will affix your paintings to any flat surface they rest upon. No worries though, something as simple as these bottle caps will totes do the trick. Hey, why did the artist bring a ladder to the painting party? Because they wanted to reach new heights of creativity. Ugh, I think she needs a software patch. Well anyway, after a couple different pour sessions, these are the pieces that I... I think I like the most. This was a fun experience, and I'm likely to try it again, probably soon. And who knows, maybe I'll make another video if this one gets any love. And there you have it, the colorful and wonderful world of acrylic pouring. I hope this inspires you to grab your paints and let your creativity flow. Happy painting, humans. How you doing? How you feeling? After uh, jumping on the table, getting paint everywhere, making me chase you down and then clean your paws. You good? Worst part of all, I didn't get it on film. Guilty face. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to do all the YouTube things with bells and buttons. And then check out another one of our videos, like this one over here.